Hello everyone, welcome to this fly tying video. Today we're going to tie a sinking caddis pupa. This one is inspired by the Alberto caddis, using the same body material. The rest is going to be a little bit different. The hook I'm using is a Partridge Grub straight tie. This one is in size 14, but I also tie this in the size 12. Bead is a 2.3mm brass bead. I don't want to put any tungsten on this one. I want it to be quite light, so it's more like an emerging caddis. And the color is metallic pheasant tail. Then the body material is going to be this, some micro pearl core braid, and this one is in the color root beer. It's like this little braid, just going to cut a piece away and use it for the body. For the wing buds and for the thorax cover, I'm using some Swiss straw in brown. And for some bugginess and just to build up the thorax, awesome possum, or possum dubbing, this one is in brown. You can also add a little bit of ice dub or any sparkly dubbing to add a little bit more pop to this pattern. And then in front of the bead, Soft tackle, this one is an India handback. The color is Prince Nymph Brown and it's this real nice brown orangey color. So burnt orange going to go really well with the bead. And the thread is the nano silk from Samplefly 80 knot in beige. I'll start right behind the bead, putting down a few turns of thread and then back up again before cutting away the excess. Then here what we want to do is to secure the bead so it stays about right here. We want to have at least an eye length behind the eye of free space. So what I'm doing is to go right over the bead on top and securing it. So I'm going to go right here and with the nano silk you can do this quite a few times before building up too much bulk, so this is a really nice thread to use, also it's so strong that you really can't just cut this away easily. Once you've done that you want to go back, building up a little base of thread here down the band, and this is going to act like just a little support for our body because we're going to glue the pearl braid to the hook and here we want to have something so it's not too too slippery. So here I've cut away just a little piece of this micro pearl core braid and what I've done is to cinch down the end with lighter. This material has a tendency to fray up if you don't do this so just lightly burn it or heat it up or melt it with a lighter and then roll it in between your fingers and this is going to make a nice little point so it's going to be a little bit tapered and this is then going to be our body material and this is exactly the same as for the Elevato Caddis it's a really nice material to use, it's really easy has a lot of definition or just really looks buggy so a few turns, couple in front to secure and for the length I want this to be just a little bit past the band and then cut off the excess as close as possible and then here what I do is to cinch down this end again before continuing to tie the fly and this you can then just put aside for the next fly here to secure the body so it doesn't move around like this. I'm gonna use some super glue, but you can also use some UV resin. And using one with a brush is a really easy way. So I'm going to add some super glue here onto the hook and onto the underside of the body and just soak this down, make sure that it stays right on top and just a few seconds and this is going to be really cured. Then moving on, some Swiss straw. 
and once you get it out of the package it's going to be bundled up like this I always cut away just a little piece to work with and then you can quite easily unfold this and then you can see that it's just a sheet of thin thin paper so a little bit glossy paper and then what I do is to cut this first in half and then I cut it into a quarter and then what you end up with is a piece about like this and this a quarter works really well for sizes 16, 14, 12 or so if you were going to tie it a little bit bigger I would just cut it in half and then I roll it up again as it was out of the package and this is going to be our two wing buds going down the sides and this material once wet it's going to be a little bit darker a little bit viscous like this just looks really really buggy so a couple of turns on my side and then cutting this off at an angle making this little wing bud on this side then doing exactly the same on the other one make sure that it stays right on the side and cutting this off at an angle as well now we have our two wing buds here on the sides and then using the same material we're going to do the thorax cover and for this you just want to tighten right on top in between your two wing butts a few turns and here now we're going to build up the thorax we're going to hide all this mess we've made here so here for this one I'm just taking some plain possum dubbing in brown but you could also add a little bit of sparkly material to this and you can either just dub it on as usual or as I will do the split thread technique so here I'm going to split the thread in two and then inserting a little pinch at a time I'm going to add some dubbing in between the two pieces of thread and doing it this way you will have a little bit longer dubbing a little bit easier then you spin it up and this is going to trap all the fibers in between threads so it sticks out like this once it's secure onto there we're going to build up the thorax just going towards the front pulling back the fibers as you go and with the nano silk you don't have to worry about seeing your thread or it's coming undone so you can really put in a few really hard turns right behind the bead then moving the thread in front of the bead and then going to pull over this forex cover making sure to split the dubbing to the both sides then tie it down a couple of turns then in front to make sure that this is secure then cut it off and here you can see that we've covered up all the thread that we had here before going over the bead a few turns to tidy up and then some soft tackle right in front I really like to fish soft tackles I think they have this really nice movement and also just adds so much bugginess to the fly so I've selected one feather taking away all the fluff from the bottom and then an easy way to tie this in is to grab the tip of the feather with your hackle pliers and then you can easily pull down the other fibers to expose just tip of the feather and then all feathers are going to have a shiny side and then a dull one and also a concave and a convex side so you want to have the dull and the concave side 
facing the fly, so the shiny facing you. This way, when you turn the feather, doing the hackle, they're going to lay nicely towards the back. So, tying this in by the tip, a couple of turns, fold the tip back, two more to secure, and then come in with your scissors and cut this away. And now folding the hackle back, we're going to make about one and a half to two turns. You don't want to overdo this. The less material you have on here, the more natural it will look. So once you're happy, just put a 90 degree band into your feather, tying off the stem. A couple of turns. Fold everything back. Make sure that this is really well tied in before cutting this away. And this one you don't want to throw away. This is really prime material to do nymph legs. So you can just use the two sides that you already have here. It's going to splay out really nicely and make some fantastic legs for your nymphs. So then a few turns more to tidy up in front and then what I like to do is to add just a little bit more of the same dubbing right in front so just dub it on to your thread and here I want to build up just a small dubbing ball just looks really really buggy and nice here in front then few turns and the last thing to do is to whip finish pull back all the materials three turns pull tight cut away your thread and then what I do is to just crease these back these fibers back just a little bit so they lay towards the back looking really really nice so there we have this little sinking caddis pupa thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already see you next time and happy time